Yeah, I like playing Pokemon Showdown, but that's just a simulator. I kind of just want to play my teams on my 3DS. I mean, I bought the thing. That's kind of what it's used for, right? I mean, I guess my only problem is that getting Flawless Legendaries is a pain in the ass. Let's see how many software sets it took to get that. What? Fuck. That. So that was a conversation I had to myself when I decided to actually start hacking in Pokemon. Normally I was against it because of, you know, morality reasons, but towards the end of the day, when it comes to manipulating hidden power typings and just using legendaries because they're all over OU and they're really good and helpful, I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna hack it. So I decided to learn the ins and outs of Pokegen, but now because we're in Gen 6, I had to learn PK hacks, which is essentially Pokegen, but for Generation 6. So I'm going to show you the easiest way possible to actually hack in any Pokemon you want. Uh, right now, it is the possibly the easiest way you could ever do this. So let me tell you things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need the YouTube app on your 3DS. You're going to need PK Hex. You're going to need a 3DS, of course. Uh, you're also going to need to have a copy of the Pokemon game that you want to hack. And you're also going to need a card reader, uh, some way that your computer will be able to read your SD card. Now they do sell card readers at Best Buy. You can go ahead and buy one there. And finally, you will need a firmware that is compatible with this exploit. At the moment, the most up-to-date firmware is compatible. This is it right here. So I'm making this video. This is the most update firmware at the time. So I want you to look down in the description and I want you to open up the link to the homebrew launcher. Now you're on the homebrew launcher, I want you to go ahead and click where it says YouTube on it. Like how would I get this homebrew running on my console? I want you to click YouTube and then I want you to click where it says prepare my SD card because as soon as you get there, the first blue thing you see where it says homebrew starter kit, I want you to click that and I want you to download it. Now as soon as you download it, I want you to extract it. Now I have the things extracted onto my desktop. And what you can do is you're gonna put these things onto the root of your 3DS. And if you don't know what that looks like, well then let me show you. So this is the root of your 3DS. Quite literally the first folder that shows up and it is the root of all folders that go on. You know, it's just kinda, I understand it. And what I want you to do is I want you to drop the boot.3dsx on the root. And I also want you to drop the folder label 3DS. Now what is this? This is pretty much where all your homebrew files are at. Now I want you to also go down the description again and download the save manager. Then once you're done extracting it, I want you to drop it here in the 3DS folder. Now don't get confused with Nintendo 3DS, make sure it's 3DS where all the homebrew apps are. And once you're done with that, I want you to go ahead and save and then take out your SD card and put it back in your 3DS and I will show you how to go about it from there. Now what I want you to do on the 3DS is go into your settings and then go to the internet settings, connection settings, then go ahead and click the connection you are currently connected to or just will use. Next I want you to go to change settings, then go all the way to DNS, click no for the auto obtain and then click detailed setup. Now I want you to set your primary DNS to this right here. Got it? Okay. Click okay, then save it. You do not have to do a connection test. And I want you to leave and open up YouTube. Now when you open it up, it's going to ask you to select a firmware. What you're going to do is you're just going to click on it. And depending whether you have a new 3DS or old, you're going to go ahead and click on it and click on the firmware for that one. It's for example, if you have the most recent one and it says new, that's for the new 3DS, is leave it like that. And if it's old, click that one old. Okay, this will happen occasionally. If that happens, I want you to turn off your 3DS just completely. Turn it off. Give it a second. Turn it back on. That happens. It will happen. Normally you want to give your 3DS a break if it does happen. Best way to know if it works is if you see that it's spinning right there on top, like that. 
If not, just go ahead and turn it off and try it again later. Now if done correctly, which it should, and it boots correctly, it's going to glitch out the screen a little bit just like that. And it's going to open the homebrew launcher. Now I want you to go all the way down to where it says save manager. Click A and then swipe to the left and there will be your game. Click A again, wait for all that stuff to happen. And it's going to ask you to back up, import, or exit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and back up our save and then we're going to click X to exit. And then we're going to click start and A. That way we can go back to our 3DS menu. And now we have access successfully exported our save. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. And I'm going to meet you back on the computer to do... And I'll meet you back on the computer that way you know what to do from there. So you'll probably notice that there's a folder now on the root of your 3DS that says save data backup. Well that's actually because there's your save data backup. There it is. There's your save file. Now what you do is you want to open PK hex, and I want you to drag this onto there, and then there will be your save file. Uh, this is my save file right here, and for the sake of time, I decided to create the file for the event Hoopa. If you guys didn't hear, Hoopa has now been released in Japanese theaters. Um, I was able to get a hold of this because of Reddit. <laughs> you might want to actually hit up Reddit if you're trying to get event Pokemon files. So right click, set, and if you guys want to copy this, there you go. There's all the information you need. The OT right there, the mains, and the rest I modified myself. So when you, once you make a Pokemon or just an entire team and you set it all the way you want, you're gonna go down to save, export save, and then I'm just gonna override it directly onto my SD card. Yes, I would like to replace it. Done and done. And when that's done, you're just going to stick it back into your 3DS, load up YouTube, import the save, and you're done. And in case you need me to demonstrate, I will do that right now. Go back to the save manager, click left, click A, wait for all this to happen, and now instead of pressing A to backup, you press B to import save, and then exit. And to show you that it worked, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Alpha Sapphire to show you that the Hoopa is indeed there, because when we took my save, it wasn't there. And there's Hoopa. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys thought the video was informative and you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. Uh, the button on screen does not do anything. I'm still pretty new to YouTube, so I don't know how to exactly program it. So where if you click it, it'll subscribe to me. So um, let me... Uh, let me just tell you some other videos I have that you can watch. Uh, to the left, we have my Mega Sceptile Guide. I worked really hard on it. I would appreciate if you watched that too. It's pretty insightful. You actually might learn a lot from it. And, uh, well, I do upload a couple battles here. So to the right, we do have the grand finals of the 2, the 2D tournament that I attended. When I um, got into the 2D tournament, I signed up for Ubers. I was taught by Edgar. Edgar's, in my opinion, the greatest Uber battle ever on Spoken. And then uh, the tournament was OU, and I said, ah, screw it, why not? And I ended up taking the entire tournament. Uh, I was undefeated. It was single elimination, but it was over the course of four weeks, and it was pretty fun. I hope to compete in that format again. So again, thank you guys for watching. This is Righteous Requesa signing out.